Hi there, and uh, welcome to this week's Arbury at Home. So we're now going to do the main course. So Iona, do you want to tell us all what we have this week? Hi, today we've got roasted sea bass fillet, shallot and herb stuffing, crushed new potatoes, courgette and basil puree, and red pepper sauce. Bye! Thank you very much. So we have got our sea bass fillets with the, the shallot and herb stuffing. Our courgette puree, courgette and basil puree, red pepper sauce, our potatoes that we're going to crush, and then we have a little bit of uh, lime juice and uh, butter that all we've done is just melted it in the microwave for 30 40 seconds. Uh, alternatively, put it in a little saucepan and melt it. So, first thing we're going to do, we've got our pot of water here which we brought to the boil. We're going to turn it down to a simmer and then we're going to drop the potatoes in. They'll take about four or five minutes just to warm through, okay? Meanwhile, we've got a frying pan. We pop it on the heat. We've got our sea bass here. All we want to do, just season it, both sides, like so. A little bit of oil, vegetable oil, not too much. If you have a non-stick pan, it's far, far better uh, than if you have a, 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 an, old, an old frying pan. If you do have an older frying pan, just take the fish and make sure you dry it, really dry it. So once the pan is hot, what we want to do, we pop it in. And then we're going to fry it just for a minute or so on each side, just to get a nice golden brown colour. Meanwhile, we can take our courgette puree. And our red pepper sauce. And put them into separate pans. There we go. And then we can just pop them onto the heat just to start warming through. So if we have a little look at our fish, there we go, beautiful. So what, what, what we're looking for is to get that nice golden brown roasted colour. So again, we're just going to repeat it on the other side. There we go. So we're just going to take it out, pop it into your little tray. Then we take our butter and lime juice and quite liberally pour it all over the fish. So it looks like so. Pop it in the oven, 200 degrees, 6 minutes. Bingo. There we go. And I will see you in six minutes time. Hi there and uh, welcome back. So we're now going to take the sea bass out of the oven. Beautiful. There we go. Delightful. Right, so what we're going to do, we've got to let it rest for two minutes while we do everything else. Okay? So, we've got our potatoes. So we just take the potatoes still in the bag, pop them into your bowl, pair of scissors, cut it open, tip the contents into the bowl and then with a fork, the back of a fork, we're just going to crush them down, okay? That's it, lovely. There we go. Just like so. So our courgette puree is ready, our pepper sauce is ready. All we got to do now is the, the, the sea bass. So what we need to do, you have to be very careful. Let's see if I can lift this up and do it up there. So what we want to do is cut 
down the side there. Yeah. Cut them as simple as that. And then carefully you can't really see. And then carefully pull the string back like so. Actually you can see there can flip it, pull, like so, and that's it, very easy. Right, so first thing we're going to do is take our courgette puree, just pop that into the centre of your plate, like so, in the recipe I said you could use the back of a spoon, which you can just spread it out if you want. But I'll show you another little technique that we use. Hold your plate, palm of your hand. And then you get a nice circle. We take our crushed potatoes. Just lay them into the centre of your courgette puree. probably be better off with a spoon there you go then I'm going to take my red pepper sauce and just go around the outside like so And we're just going to gently lift our fish up, pop that onto there, and I do need another spoon. And last but not least, we take a little bit of the um, the lime and butter that we cooked the fish in, and just drizzle that over the top of the fish, like that, and a little bit around. And there we have it. So we have our fillets of sea bass with uh, shallot and herb stuffing, courgette and basil puree, crushed new potatoes and a red pepper sauce.